going on everybody uh, day number 10 here in the woods is coming to a close anywho uh, I'm going to have me a spam sandwich for dinner tonight it should be right tasty matter of fact I know it will be right tasty uh, let's say we get this show on the road coming up on the red light video later tonight that will be it for day 10 in the woods. Alright, I have got my spam here. Here is my knife. Ooh, watch it. I'm going to get my knife and my striker into my spam. That is no good. Alright, let's see here. I'm going to uh, spice up my spam. Piece right there, it's sliced off. I'm gonna have to eat it. I am hungry for sure. This is definitely not my ideal cooking situation here, but it has been a rainy day all day. I'm cooking underneath the tarp. really have anything to set this on and properly cut it so well what I am going to do I'm going to set it inside my frying pan I'm going to try to cut it like this and try not to slice my hand wide open that'd be nice all right that one is kind of split a little bit. So now right here was awful thick as well. I guess that does not really matter. This gives me another little piece to eat right here. Oh man. Oh man, that's so good, especially when you're hungry. Oh. What I want to say, I do not know what this will come out like, this, this clip. Oh. When I run my little tough light lantern, this one is actually the bolt, uh, it appears like there's little lines running up and down the screen, like it's like the lantern runs interference on the camera. And I hope that's not so. I hope it just looks like that to me, and it does not come out that way. If it does, I do apologize, and uh, on the next nighttime video, it will be different, because I'll review this later. And if those lines are in the video, well, I can't have that. I will have to break out a different lighting source. One that hopefully does not run interference on the lantern, or on the uh, camera. So, anyhow, bear with me a second. got to get up get the paper towels. Wipe off my bushcraft knife. Oh, that is not easy. Sitting down there on uh, that Little King's box. But, uh, for everybody out there, I will do things that I am not comfortable with. All right. Well, let's hope the box don't bust open, because if it does, I'm going to wind up on the ground. All right, enough talking for now. So, is that a piece of spam? I hope so. Yep. I'm curious. That looks like I ate it. Oh, all right. Let's set that up there. And let's spark up the stove. What do you think? Check out what I found. I am in hog heaven about it, too. I looked through my dry bags a few times, and I could not find my alcohol stove anywhere. Well, I went to get in there this evening to get out a new tank of gas for the, uh, for the jet pool there. Look what I found. I don't know if you can see that or not, but I found my alcohol stove. I'm gonna use my alcohol stove and uh, this little piece of my stick stove like I did last year for uh, Adventure Procure Season 1, The Island, or The Island Life. As I've said before, I have been known to call it both. 
All right, where is my knife? Sheet. There it is. There's my striker in there. Set that right there for a second. I do not want to lose my striker. Let's spark this up. There we go. Put that on there. And we're going to put the frying pan up there. Hope this works out all right. And there is enough fuel to cook my sandwich. I'll do that in just a minute. I want to get the spam into the pan. that is in there hopefully it will start cooking oh man knock my spatula on the ground that is not good Let's see if I can fix my striker in here now so it does not wind up lost there we go that is squared away that cooking? Yes it is. Whoa, that's what I was waiting on. Ugh. We just have to set on the edge here now. This is about uh, well, 16 pack of Little Kings here. It is done for. Matter of fact, I don't think it's will do that. Move it and uh, try and deal a different way. Bring this chair over here. And hopefully, y'all can still see me. Huh. I knew that was going to happen. Is that that uh, 16 pack low things there? It was damp. It was sitting in the rain all day, and I thought, man, this thing ain't is not going to is not going to hold up whilst I cook. Ooh, we have sizzling going on, people. Sizzling. It's going to be even time for long. Let's uh, get me out a couple pieces of bread here. Put one in that bowl and one in the other half of that bowl. Maybe tomorrow night I can have a little bit better uh, situation set up. I did not even want to be cooking after dark anymore. I wanted to, you know, cook right before dark, but uh, that has not worked out. Something keeps coming up every time, and I don't get done on time. Tonight, it was the bath time. Ooh, this fam, it's frying up. I can smell it. Y'all, it smells so good. And it's going to be. I'm only having a spam sandwich tonight. I am not having any vegetables. But tomorrow, for lunch, I will have some hominy. That, I guarantee. All right, I'm going to open this here cheese. Go ahead and get it on my bread there. So good. Thank God I found my alcohol stove. Whoa, almost dropped my cheese in the ground. That would have been bad. Cannot be wasting my good cheese. I cannot just run to the store and get any. Hey, something just fell on the tarp there. I wonder if anybody else can hear that. said when I started this video if it does come out looking like an old TV set with lines rolling up and down it I do apologize for that and I will I will correct it in the next video 
mark my words on that. I don't understand why this little lantern, or the other little lantern just like this, why it causes interference with that camera. It must be on the same frequency somehow. I don't really understand it. But, what can I do, right? Sudden sizzling has stopped. Ooh, the flames are still going. I must just be imagining that. I'm not sure what has become of my headlight. I did have it a little while ago. Now I do not see it anywhere. I always like to know where my headlight is. Indeed. Bear with me. I'm gonna see if I can find it real quick. Aha! Headlight has been found. This is a good thing. Ooh, yeah, can y'all see that? I don't know whether you can or not. But it sure is looking good in there. Starting to brown up nice this time. Last time I did not get a good browning going on. I don't remember, did I cook it over the fire last time? I don't recall. Ah, people, it smells so good. OMG! At least I am gonna have a good dinner. I'm sure bugs are not invading my food. There is some kind of little black speck on that piece of cheese. I'm gonna try to get rid of it. Well. Cannot get it off of there. There we go. Remove. Check the other piece. It looks all right too. I'm gonna get some crisp on my spam tonight. I like it. Much. getting a little black on him. That is all right. He will be good. Now I see where the hot part of the stove is. In the pan, I mean. Move those pieces over there to the side a little bit. Yeehaw, people, yeehaw. I was going to do spam and my homie tonight, but I just didn't get I just didn't get going in time. That's all there is to it. There we go. What I was after. I did indeed find the hot part of the pan. I think in just a minute I'm gonna call this sandwich done. That's messed up. I swear, look at that little LCD screen there on the cannon. It, it looks like an old television from back in the 80s or the 70s or whatever. It's 
kind of a little bit off station. You get kind of lines are rolling through it and stuff. It's very bizarre. I've never quite seen the light before. Not on a camera. I think this is probably good enough. I'm going to put this down for a second and I'm going to build this sandwich. And then I'm going to take a bite after I show it to y'all. If I spill my sandwich in the ground, I am not going to be happy at all. Right, there is that, and uh, look at that nice steaming sandwich there. Uh, I will put another piece of bread on here and take a bite, see how it is. Remove this pan from the fire though. I have no way to put that out this time. Normally I have some way I can grab that off there. I will have to keep that in mind for next time. There is no way. Anyhow, let's try this out. Oh, wow. Hey, yeah, go on. Wow, that is good. But, I'm going to put it inside the little bowl, like I always talk about doing, and close it up for about five minutes, and it will be even better. Guaranteed. All right. I guess I'm going to go ahead and uh, call this one done. And I hope it is not as horrid looking as it is on that screen. We shall see. But I will catch everyone after a while. Bye till then. All right. What is up, everyone? Day number 10 here in the woods is coming to a close. It has been a good day. So, let's see what all went on here. Oh, it did rain all day. Did a bunch of good uh, firewood hunting. Drug a bunch down out of the woods, got it all sawed up, and of course it kept right on raining. So, did not, of course, get to have a fire tonight, which I planned on doing. Was really looking forward to it, but no. <laughs> Such is the way an adventure goes. Uh, did get to do some bluegill fishing. Only fooled around with a little artificial though because it was raining like a mug. Just cast it around, I want to think, for about an hour. Anything else? Oh, here's a good one for you. Sitting here in camp. And, uh, not too long, too long after I had my bath. So I ate tarp. And, uh, I thought I saw something moving around. see a shape and I was sitting down on the trail in the dark here. And I was kind of just sitting there like I was kind of sitting like all all straight up in the air like this. It is my belief it was a putty rat. AKA a cougar. It just appeared to me by the shape of the shadow. Like it had some little round ears on it, you know, and kind of like three and a half or four foot tall when it was sitting down. And uh, that is my belief of what it was. I do not know for sure because my spotlight was not ready to roll. But after that, it will be come tomorrow night. My spotlight will have batteries in it, and I will light something up if I see something. And also, I will be sure to 
not walk around without my bushcraft knife on, which I usually don't anyways, but every now and then I've been known to, you know, kind of slack off a little bit and I might leave it there you know, underneath the tarp or you know, on firewood or something like that, which is a bad idea. So, anyhow, anything else? Oh, well, got my bath. It was, uh, something else. Oh, <laughs> it had been a while. You know, uh, it was enjoyable enough, though. But, very, fairly chilly, at least to me. Not anything else? I don't think there is. Well, Mm, nothing. Oh, I did see one uh, bushy tail today, by the way. I don't know if I mentioned that or not in an earlier video. But I did see him scurry across the trail. Well, maybe not scurry, but he kind of just you know, went across the trail at his own pace there. He wasn't any hurt. And I think for the day's events, all my spam sandwich for dinner. It was delicious. After I put it there in the bowl and uh, close those two halves up, it's got a nice little rubber seal around one half of that bowl set. Holds all the heat in. And like I was talking about, you know, about five minutes after I put it in there, I opened it back up. Oh man, it was so good. The cheese was all like, like it's all we talked about, all super gooey, and, you know, with the mayonnaise on there and the crispy spam. And, oh wow. It was off the chain. I do have one more can of Spam, but I do not plan on eating it right away. Maybe sometime before this adventure is over with. And as far as day's events go, that is it, I believe. I did not injure myself up any today. You know, no trees like jumping on me or no uh, other trees catching me in the knees or anything like that. All that was all good. Did not see any snakes whatsoever at all. You have to excuse me. These yawns all of a sudden are kicking in on me, but I have had an active day. I think it is about, about 10.30 now. But other than that, oh, I got it since it is the red light video. We all know what time it is. Let's see if I can uh, even find it here yet. Here, here we go. I am in the tent now, but let's see what the autofocus does here. If anything. It's more focusing on my face. So, uh, but it is an ice cold Little Kings. And uh, I am in the tent. I did decide to just say heck with it, go ahead and get inside the Alaska God series, because it is still raining. Well, it just started up back up raining maybe a half hour ago. Quit for a little while. Nothing really to count or anything, but anyhow, back to the Kings. I would like to say uh, cheers to my wife. Love you and miss you, babe. Uh, cheers to all my family and friends. Uh, oh, cheers to Little King. We cannot forget them of all people as well, uh, being the first corporate sponsor of uh, next year's first expedition, Pittsburgh to New Orleans. That is a thing. It's going to be one heck of a trip. I probably say that every time I talk about it because it's just, you know, it's just crazy. Anyways. I think that will do it. So let's pop the lid off this Kings. And as it has been going for the past number of nights, the first Kings is gonna get gone. We are gonna hug it in memory of my brother. And uh, cheers to everyone. Say goodbye to this little Kings. It is gonna be tasty, I guarantee you. All right, here we go. Oh, <laughs>
old man. <laughs> I say it every time. That is so killer. It is good. Uh, Old King's Cream Ale is the bomb. There's no doubt about it. I had got away from drinking it for a long time. And then I'd go through little spells, you know. Or go back and have some more, you know. And drink it for four or five months. And then switch to another kind. I don't know if that would be happening or not. I, mean, I think I'm going to stick with the Kings. And like I said before, that is not because uh, the Kings chose to up to play to sponsor us but it's because it is a tasty beer and I've always liked it all right I am going to sit here tonight and attempt to watch an episode or two of the Sopranos uh, since it is such a rainy night and I could not have my fire I uh, got about halfway through episode three the other night when the DVD player died and uh, so I just so we're going to go to that point and progress from there. And I guess I will see everyone in the morning. Oh, excuse me. Sorry about that. Got the burps going on from hugging that Kings there. And, well. Hmm. Seemed like there was something else I was going to say. But now it has slipped my mind. So it'll come back to me and I will catch it you know, next time. Oh, I remember what it was. Earlier when I was making the uh, thinner video, I had mentioned that to me it looked like there was little lines going across the LCD screen there. And that's only happens when I'm running on either the puff light or the blazing bolt. So apparently, there's something there that you know interferes. Like they're on, like I was saying earlier, I think maybe they're on the same type of frequency or something. Because there's definitely an interference. So when I went back a while ago and I reviewed that video, indeed it does appear to me those lines are actually in the video now, like an old television set. But, being uh, how things are, I do have a remedy for that. I have a different light source there in one of my ballistic cases, and I'll get that out for the next nighttime cook. And finally, I think that is it. Wherever you are, or whatever you may be doing, as always, I hope you're having a good time of it, and uh, I'll catch you in the next.